Hello everyone, welcome again to another mini course on coping through cancer. My name is Samantha Stevenson. I'm one of the behavioral therapists here at City of Hope Chicago. I'm also a breast cancer survivor. And today I'm going to teach you how to create your very own vision board. Perfect for if you have any New Year's resolutions, intentions you want to set for a fresh start. Um, and it's really your own craft. So I'll have magazine clippings, maybe excerpts from books that you no longer will use, um, little cutouts from calendars that I have found inspiring over the years. You could even put a little puzzle piece on your vision board. So lots of different mediums you can use. You'll see I have glue, scissors, tape, um, whatever you have around the house will work. I also have a little sheet of paper that is going to work as my vision board. You could use a blank sheet of paper. You can create a vision board on your computer and just leave it digital if you'd like. Um, this happens to be the, the inner back part of a gift that I got for Christmas. So it doesn't have to go to waste as packaging. I'm gonna use it as my vision board today. Um, gather your materials. You can pause this video to get ready and we can work on our vision boards together. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background first about what a vision board is. A vision board is a great visual representation of your intentions and goals. The act of creating your own vision board allows your mind and body to mindfully focus on your desires. By carving out space and time to focus on your intentions and goals with images, words, symbols, things that inspire and motivate you. Uh, we create intentions based on our goals. Goals could be to learn how to relax, be more patient, improve relationships, travel more, find a job, or be more kind to yourself. There's no right or wrong way to create your vision board, and some consider it to be a visual way to journal instead of writing. Um, options for materials to use, again, magazines, books that you don't mind deconstructing, printed materials of your choice, mixed media like ribbon, um, textured items, craft items, items from outside, uh, maybe a leaf, a feather, things like that. You'll want scissors. I have different kinds of glue um, and pencils, maybe markers. Anything inspirational that aligns with your values, feel free to throw in a little glitter too if you, if you desire. Um, how it works. So we are setting our mind first and using the vision board as a reminder to then drive our behavior toward our desired outcomes. So maybe once we're done with this vision board, we're gonna hang it up on our bathroom mirror every day because that's the first thing like I might go to once I'm getting ready in the morning. Maybe it's next to your bed before you go to sleep at night. Maybe it's um, hung up at work by your desk. So really play around with it. It uh, can act as a visual reminder of what you're working to do every day. Uh, continued review is important to maintain focus on your intentions and goals. You can always update your vision board as you reach your goals or set new visions for the future. A vision board helps you clarify your goals and stay focused on where you intend to go. This practice keeps our intentions at the forefront of our mind. It reinforces commitment and the motivation to take action to reach your desired outcomes. Uh, vision boards can help you get to know yourself a little bit better too by reminding you of what matters to you. Uh, you can visualize your success and much like positive verbal affirmations, act as a visual way to immerse yourself in um, what you want or hope to achieve. Your vision board could uh, elicit positive emotions. Uh, it can help you build confidence and serve as a constant nudge for your actions and decisions. We can all use a little bit of reminders now and again. Uh, referencing your vision board helps you prioritize your time, energy, and resources towards the actions that align with your vision. Uh, use this tool 
as much as you'd like. It can act as a guide and a source of motivation, a gentle reminder. It's your actions that will bring your vision to reality, but sometimes it's, it's nice to just have that available for us to look at anytime we need. Um, so examples, again, maybe it's tips from our friend Tori. If you were part of the hospital a long time ago, we have little reminders of how to be playful like a puppy. Wag your tail when you see your loved ones. Be a true friend. Listen deeply, even when you don't understand. Rejoice in life's small pleasures. Um, I like some of these reminders because as an adult, it's super important to be playful. I need to remember to engage in play more as an adult. That's an intention that I would like to have for the future. So I might add this to my, my vision board. I cut some things out of a magazine. Welcome back to wonder. I think we could all just explore things a little bit more, have a sense of wonder. Again, it goes towards that playful nature. So you could go ahead and organize your vision board as you wish. You can kind of place things one at a time. If you are like me and you like a little bit more organization, maybe I am going to categorize them. Maybe I'm going to start with my goals. What visions do I have? Um, what action steps? And then kind of paste things down. You can play around with it as you like. Um, I might start with this year I want to. Now I could tape it down, I could actually write it with a sharpie on my vision board. I also have some mixed media, like a little sticker or a tattoo that maybe friends have given me um, that I want to kind of keep forever as a vision to reconnect and engage with those I love. That's always important. Family is very important to me too, so time spent with family. You can print things that you find on the internet. Um, as reminders of how you want to spend your time for this new year. Um, dance, again, things that bring us joy, maybe self-care. Dance would be one that I probably don't do enough and I could do a little bit more of, so maybe I want to put that on my vision board. Um, my home. Maybe there are some things that we need to get done too. Like I really need to focus on getting back to some of the things that I need to do for repairs, okay? Maybe that's an intention that we need to set, prioritize some time to spend on those kinds of things. You could even use different mixed media. Like here I have a Celtic stone. Uh, they're called hag stones. They're known as holy stones or witch stones. Um, they're naturally occurring whole and are you are usually found near oceans and other bodies of water um, they are said to be powerful protection talismans and when worn or carried they protect the bearer from curses hexes negative spirits and harm um, a little piece of folklore for me it reminds me of my mom my mom collects rocks and i love to be outdoors so even if i don't collect rocks i seem to navigate towards outdoor elements so this is something that i might want to put on my vision board too maybe to elicit travel more time spent outside um, things like that Stickers. I have a couple of stickers from different calendars. The Cancer Fighters calendar that they come out with each year has some really motivational sayings. Enjoy every moment. I definitely need to enjoy every moment possible. I think that's a good reminder for me. Um, a survivor ribbon. You know, it's, it's kind of small. I like that. It's still a piece of me that I need to remember along with how to enjoy every moment because it's easy to get swept up in the hectic busyness of everyday life. So for me, that's going to be a good reminder too. Um, maybe little inspirational cards that people have given you along your journey. This one is about hope. Courage is not just the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important than fear by Ambrose Red Moon. Um, this is kind of like a good reminder too. Again, these are just clippings from calendars that people have given me through the years. 
you can do anything but not everything. Um, I think it's easy for us to get swept up again in taking care of all the different things. I myself need to also practice taking a step back and realizing I can't do everything. I can do anything, but I can't do everything. Uh, another one that I like is do more things that make you forget about your phone. Oh my goodness. Um, we are very tied to our digital devices, social media. We are constantly plugged in and pinged off of for communication. I definitely need to be more mindful of where I'm putting my time and energy. It does not need to be on my phone. So what are some of the things that make me forget about my phone? Maybe I'm gonna add that to the top of my vision board. Hmm, things that make me forget about my phone. Dance, absolutely. Um, play, vacation. So I clipped out some um, just images that I enjoy. I love the water. Yoga is probably something that I could do a little bit more of also. So maybe I'm going to put that up here where, where it's do more things that make you forget about your phone. Well, what does that look like? Ah, yoga, dancing, engaging in play. Um, maybe it's finding fun activities to do with my toddler and engaging in play in that format. Music, the outdoors. So I just printed a tiny little music um, note sheet here and a tree. I really enjoy being outside, leaving my phone at home, enjoying the senses I experience in the outdoors. That's something I definitely want to help me forget about my phone a little bit more. Um, so again, your vision board is going to look a little different. You can add to it as much as you'd like, redo it, take something off, cover something over it, um, keep it where, where you're going to remember to look at it uh, as often as you'd like, and enjoy the process. Maybe you're going to enjoy a, a warm cup of tea or coffee as you create your vision board. Maybe you're going to cozy up with a soft blanket and really take the time you need to, to consider your goals for the future and what it looks like to get to those in the new year. Um, I wish you all wellness, joy, peace, and fun in this self-exploration. I'll be posting more videos as time goes of other ways that you can learn to cope through cancer and any other things that come along in life. Thank you again for taking the time with me. We'll see you soon.